señores y compadres, bienvenidos a Ketchikan, Alaska. Soy su pariente y tus amigos Mark y aquí yo enseñaría a todas personas el mejor de Alaska este sur. ¿Por qué no soy muy interesante y guapo? Traigo Harold. Vamos a ver de Ketchikan. Cállate. Cuando sería mejor comenzar nuestra aventura que es el exterior correcto de Walmart. Ahora usted va a ir a lanzarse una reja. ¡Es lore! ¡Oh, mierda! ¡Oh, mierda! ¡Se les neumió un son negro! ¡Lo sé, se... Yes, welcome to another adventure of Harold and Mark. As they take you on a tour through Ketchikan, Alaska, you'll see buildings, roads, two guys. You'll see this road too. And these buildings, there's a road up there. And here's a road and there's some stores. And another store on the right, that's a church. Yes, you'll have a great time as Mark and Harold take you on a fun-filled adventure that you'll never forget. Hey, when coming to visit Ketchikan, basically you'll come two different ways. You'll come by a jet, or you can come by ferry, which uh, Harold happens to be a ferry, but a different kind of ferry. No offense to gays. <laughs> For four years of my life, well, more like two and a half, shut up, I spent my time at Ketchikan High School, and Harold and I here both spent a lot of time here making out with lots of chicks and doing a ton of drugs and drinking a lot of booze. And right here, Ketchikan High School right here, has about 60,000 uh, students every year. Just kidding. 60,000? I don't remember 16,000 students. Ketchikan High School. Well, Ketchikan High School has a neon canoe that if you tried to if, if you tried to use it, would sink. And I always wanted to wrap it in saran wrap and see if it would float. Standing in front of old Toady Totem, the totem pole, which is probably the most famous totem pole in the world. This totem pole tells a story, as do all totem poles. This one tells a story about the man with the scrunchy hands. And you see, Harold and I are gonna each go back and forth and tell a separate segment of the story. So, the man with the scrunchy hands one day was trying to rub his balls. The problem was, his hands are always scrunchy. He didn't know how to get them all straight. So, one day, he went up to... He had a cat who was living in his hat. And he tried to get the cat to scratch his own balls. But it just didn't work. So he went up to... He went up to the old dirty whore. And you see, old dirty whore hates cats. Because people would always get it. They'd be like, hey pussy, pussy, want the pussy? And she would be like, oh yeah, I'm all ready for you. And then they'd be like, no, we want to pet the cat. She's like, oh. So the cat came up to her, and she said to the cat that he needs to go see Miss Smiley Face. Now, Miss Smiley Face always likes to wear a bonnet. And he says, please, Miss Smiley Face, I know you know you don't like to touch testicles, but could you take the side of your bonnet and rub between my crotch? <laughs> because my <laughs> it really itches down there. And Miss Smiley face got so upset, she went to the giant eagle of sexual harassment. And that giant eagle of sexual harassment was so furious at the man with the scrunchy hands that he came down and one by one plucked out his eyeballs, eight in total. And then he sat like this for the rest of time. Harold, your balls itch? They do. Oh, no, no. Ears. My ears. Ah. 
not my ears. Not my ears. <laughs> <laughs> now we're down in downtown Ketchikan. Harold and I are standing in front of Creek Street, which is the local uh, staple of Ketchikan. When people come to Alaska, they go, whoa, Creek Street, what the fuck? Exactly. Tell, uh, tell them how great it smells here, Harold. It smells so great that you just want to breathe in deeply. Yeah. Breathe in deeply and rub a salmon all up your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe yeah. take it to an old time whore and just shove it up her nose, you know? In and out of the old whore's nose that salmon goes. Here's the Creek Street shop sign. Now, are, of all these businesses right here, Harold, is there a place where you haven't made love to a woman? Because I know that you've had a lot of sex in your life. So, Eagle's Nest, have you had sex with a woman there? Yeah. Simply Salmon. Vague memory of it. Creekside Trading Company. Definitely. Christmas Creek. I don't know. It's Christmas time, so. My Hard butthole. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> One of the local activities here in Ketchikan, Alaska, is what the seagulls like to do is it's called seagull surfing. And they'll actually fly up the creek, land, and float down waiting for young boys to jump on their backs and ride the seagull all the way down. Obviously there are no young boys here, but Harold's actually going to jump in, aren't you, Harold? Harold! Yes. Yeah! Whoa, Harold, that was amazing! Whoa, that was! That was amazing, Harold, when you rode on the back of that seagull all the way down the creek, I was totally impressed. I know! Where did you get such incredible balance skills? Lots. Do I ever let you finish the sentence? Never! The truth is, I spent a large portion of my life during high school here at the Gross Coliseum Twin Theaters. And it was a really emotional experience because I had never known that there was such a thing as money. So it really opened my eyes. And I got to see movies for free as I worked there, as I slaved there. Harold would come to the movies, tell a movie story. I would go to the movies. He would go to the movies. And then, and I, so would, then I would drop kick We had a great time. Face. Hey guys. Hey Diane Starkweather. Inside the movie theater, Diane Starkweather is the manager and has been since she was 13 years old. Yes, uh-huh. 20 years. I was 13, uh-huh. You were my boss for two years. Yes. The best boss I ever had. You're such a good liar. I'm not lying. It's true. Where else could I run shirtless with popcorn grease all over my body? Besides Harold's house. <laughs> vacation and buys this stuff saying, oh, this would look perfect as a, on our coffee table. Lots of people <laughs> say that would look perfect on our coffee table when they come to Ketchikan, Alaska. The tourists love to buy worthless crap like a real-life Cinderella uh, statue thing. Even if you had a mansion, where would you put something like that? My God. I would probably put it on a shelf or a table. That's how you pet a lion. <laughs> 
You got juice, suck your butt, Harold. You got juice, suck your butt, Harold. You got juice, juice, juice.